Okay, grab a cup of coffee. We're going to continue on with our Angular app, which is going to count characters in a string passed into our website. Or, you know, you can just type up something in the website. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be pasted. Anyway, today we're going to continue on. We're going to add Angular material to our web app, and we're going to create the toolbar at the top, or as I like to call it, the nav bar, even though we're not really going to have navigation or routing. Or anything like that. Um, this is where we left off. We just created our Angular app and we didn't really do much from there. We just added, I think, an H1 this is to our app just to show how the main component, the app component.html, can be altered and displayed um, and recompiled instantly after saving. So if you're new to Angular, I do have a few series on my channel with the basics in Angular. We go through the Tour of Heroes tutorial, which is on Angular's website, and I have some other uh, series, and I kind of forget what we did now, but if I leave pieces out, I do recommend you check those out because it should cover every, everything we do in this series. So we're gonna create a new component. You can think of components as just pieces of our web app, and all the pieces come together and make our entire web app. And right now we just have the app component HTML, which is like the main piece I like to think of it as. And we can put smaller pieces inside of this app component HTML by creating new components. And so for our nav bar, I'm just going to create a new component for it and put our HTML and our TypeScript in there, though there shouldn't be any TypeScript really for this. So I'm gonna create a new uh, terminal instance down here because the first instance is just hosting our local web app that we have spun up. So I'm gonna create a new one and let's write, well actually we need to cd into the project, character count, and then ng generate, so g, c for component, and then whatever we want to name it. So let's call it like menu, I guess. And so notice what this does, it creates a new directory under our app directory called menu. And if we open that up, we have a TypeScript, we have CSS, we have HTML, we have the spec.ts, which is really just for testing. So I'm going to delete this because we're not going to do any testing with it. And if we look at the TypeScript of this menu component, we see a selector as part of the metadata, app menu. And it created that for us by default just because we named this component menu. So if I take this app menu and I go to our app component HTML right above our H1, Inside of a tag, like an HTML tag, I can put app menu just like this, and it recompiles, looks like it did, and we look at it, we see menu works, which is the basic or the default HTML of our new component right here, menu works. So basically we're taking this component, we're pasting it into our app component HTML by using these tags, and it's displaying this HTML that was in here by default. So what I wanna do is change this to a toolbar. However, we need to do some prerequisite things, like we need to bring in those Angular material libraries, and we also need to reference it uh, in the HTML. And here's the Angular material website. You can just Google Angular material, and this should be the first link that pops up. If we go to guides and we go to getting started, it gives us the command that we need to add Angular material to our project. So I'll copy this and I'll go back to our one terminal where we're able to run things. So paste that in there, we'll run it. This will likely take a while and we're going to put yes. This will likely take a while to install all of the necessary packages. And once that's done, we then need to reference this package in our project to say, hey, bring in these things so we can use them in our Angular app. And then we'll go ahead and create or toolbar, as it's called, in Angular Material. And while that's installing, let's look at that toolbar. If we go to components on this uh, Angular Material site again, and we go down to toolbar, here are the example toolbars. So they give you what it looks like, and they also give you the code if you hit view code here, and you can see. Um, this one's pretty simple. It's just mat toolbar as the tag, and then they have a span called my or with the text my application in it. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have a basic toolbar and we're just gonna have like the name of our app in here. If we had navigation, we could have links up here too. And maybe we'll have an about page just to show that. But like I said, I don't plan on doing any routing. 
And one of the things that I ask you while it's installing is what do you want the theme to be? So it's like a series of colors. So you can choose between these different color schemes or you can create your own custom and you can change that also in the future. But I'm just gonna go with indigo pink because I think that'll look good. And set up global angular material typography styles. Sure, why not? And do we want to include enable animations? Um, I'm probably not gonna use them, but I'll just do it anyway. Okay, so we installed the necessary packages, but we aren't referencing those packages in our Angular app just yet. And to do that, we're going to go to App Module TypeScript, and we're going to first import the Angular Material Toolbar. So import, and in curly braces, uh, mat toolbar. I was hoping it would auto do it for me. So mat tool bar module from, I can't type as usual, at angular slash material slash toolbar. And then now that we can reference this mat toolbar module, let's add it to our imports array here. So now when we use that tag mat toolbar in our HTML, it'll know what that is. And let's show that. So if we go back to menu component .html, instead of this menu works, let's get rid of that and put mat toolbar. And we need a closing tag of that. And I'm just going to have a span in here called character counter, or it's saying character counter. And if we go back to our app and look at it, something must be wrong, maybe not. Okay, so this it didn't end up looking right, and I was thinking, why is this? I looked at the app module, um, everything looked good, and then I figured, oh, we probably need to recompile the app so it can pick up the new packages that we just installed. And that seemed to be the case because if I closed the app and I recompiled and opened it again, we now have the styling that I figured it would have from the start. So I guess moral of the story, if you're adding something to your Angular project, recompile afterwards. But now notice we have some predefined styling and we have now our character counter. Uh, I guess I'm gonna call it the website title. And then down below here is where we can have our input. So when the user puts something in here, um, we can then count the characters of that input. And I know I probably flew through a lot of these things, but hopefully some of it stuck and some of it made sense. And I think as we go along, more will. And that's all I'm going to do in this video. So we created a new menu component, as I called it. And then we also added Angular Material to our project. And we now reference the Matte Toolbar or the Angular Material Toolbar. And one last thing I wanted to mention, you might be asking, well, how did I know to use this particular import statement? And I need a semicolon afterwards. But how did I know right, you know, to do this? So if we go back to the Angular Material uh, overview, for this component, so the toolbar component. If we go to the API, this gives us the import statement. So you can actually just copy this and paste it right up here, which I should have done instead of trying to type it out like I did. But here we are, that's how you can find that. Um, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. And then it also tells you the tags that you could use or the selector. So mat toolbar is the main one. There's also the mat toolbar row, which we aren't using. I think that's more for something like this. If we look at its code, yeah, Matt Toolbar, Matt Toolbar Row, it has a My App, and then it kind of expands, kind of like a uh, what you would see in a mobile version. So that's all we're doing in this video. I hope to see you in the next one where we add another component for the text area. And yeah, I'll see you there.